Mateus 26, 30. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. We may be seated. My brethren, this passage it happens after Jesus has spoken to his disciples about the Passover. Jesus came to his disciples and said, prepare the Passover. When Jesus says, prepare the Passover, so as the church know the text, the disciples went to prepare the Passover. So Jesus created something new. If Jesus said to them, prepare the supper, they would not understand. And at the supper, he says, he explained what he would say when he was at the mountain giving a speech. And he says, whoever doesn't eat my flesh has no part with me. Sometimes we are giving glory and happy. If something happened like a trial or a struggle, we feel down. We need to learn, like Abraham. He went to from the beginning to the end. And with us, the Lord wants us to be the same. He, he tests us, He proves us, but He wants us to be conquerors. We can have the power of God. And we, struggles will come, storms will come. But the Lord will give victories. The Lord balance out so we can see His glory and the actions of justice of Him. So during the trials, we recognize who we are. If the Lord doesn't interfere, we will be defeated. So when we are tested, or when the Lord, the Lord uh, let us go into a trial, we need to understand that the Lord will, will rescue us. So when the Lord asked them to prepare the Passover and they established, he established the supper, the Lord talked to them, uh, spoke with them in a language that they would understand. So in our days, it's the same thing. When the Lord, sometimes speak to us about mysteries that w nobody knows anything. Sometimes the Lord shows situations in our place of work, for example. The Lord uses things that we know in our daily life. So it was not different with the apostles. He spoke with them in a way that they would understand. So when he established the, the, the supper and he finishes the Passover, Today, in our days, also the baptism and the supper, those are things very important. We had a supper s last week. It was a great joy for the whole church, and it's been a great joy. And also the baptism. The Bible says when a sinner repents, there is a feast in heaven. So when we see this text, and we see that Jesus participated in a supper and after sung a hymn, he went to the Mount of Olives. Jesus always prays. Today, for example, is a day, ideal day for us to supplicate, to pray. We need to remember that we were created for his praises, for the praises of his name. In Genesis, the verb create, bara, in the original, the man was created for the praises of the Lord. So we were created to surrender in praises to the Lord. And sometimes we look to our lives and say, I don't have any reason to sing or to give praises. But that is the moment that you can make an effort to express your gratitude and the deliverance has come. And the Word of God says that the Lord inhabited among the, the praises. Even though if you upset, if you sing a song, if you express gratitude, the Lord will promise you that He's going to help you. And this is how the Lord wants to see us. 
And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. There's another passage in the Bible that says, Pray unceasingly so you cannot go into temptations. So in the word for, uh, what the Word of God for us tonight is the same. We only will find faith to persevere in the presence of the Lord if we keep praying, singing songs, praising. I remember about a person that was without speaking about the Lord and because of the barriers of culture and language a lot of people feel shy it looks like our our life is only work 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 everybody's involved on in that but then this brother stopped to talk to someone at the bank and then the Lord visited his heart and he started to, to talk about the promises of the Lord and the other person was listening and says, Where is this? And he was saying, This is the Bible. And he mentioned several promises in the Bible. So his heart started to feel joy, and the other person was listening and very soliciting. So he started to get details about all nations and how the religion works around the world. So he could testi testify about the projects of salvation from the Lord. When he left there, he entered in his car, he started to glorify the Lord. And he, his heart was broken because the God prov provided an opportunity for him to speak freely about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Then he started to sing songs and exalt the name of the Lord. We want to say that there was nothing material or health but just to speak about salvation with a needy person sometimes we look at to a person that is well dressed it shows that is very wealth but uh, this this person might be even in more need than someone with less resources that's what happened with the world some some people look well externally, but we, what the Lord has shown us is that the interior of the every, the, the man in general, they are empty. There is a, a hungry soul, a thirsty soul, needing the spiritual food. So when we when we talk about the gospel and the eternity, then we are providing food for their souls. Then we we praise the Lord and we have fellowship with the Father. We have, we have fellowship with the church. We take place of the fellowship and the communion, like the supper. And the supper, nothing more than the intimate moment between the church and God. So our faith is renewed and enriched. And we have the power of the Holy Spirit upon us to speak freely about Jesus, to say that He will be back and tell people that he is the greatest treasure we have. Some promises already fulfilled and some did not yet, but if Jesus arrived to rescue us, to rapture us, now, even though if all, all the promises fulfill, our great joy will be to be with the Lord. And the Bible says that as close as we be from the second come of Jesus, the love of many will diminish. So that's why we need to seek for the Lord to give us strength and courage to proclaim. This country is huge. And it's a good field so we can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And sometimes because of the secular things, we... We feel shy. But when we bold, the Lord is merciful and He sends the angels. He provides everything. Because the Bible says if you seek first the kingdom of God, everything else will come. Naturally, the Lord will resolve every need, every situation that we can find. And sometimes we do the opposite. This is normal. It's a human endeavor. But we need to leave the Word of God because God has commitment with His Word. And all, he, all God wants is to allow us 
to have fellowship, to, to have the supper with the Lord. As Jesus was going to the Mount of Olives, singing a song, going to pray, even though if the Father doesn't answer what I ask, Jesus prayed to say, be your will be done. Even if I die, I will die glorifying your name, Jesus prayed. Whatever the eternity have for me, I will glorify you because I know that I am yours. So in the prayer we understand everything. Bible says that the servant of God can discern anything and nobody can discern him. Because when we are in fellowship with Father, even though if we need to go through a struggle, the Lord is with us. The angel of the Lord was with Jesus when he was suffering and was comforting him. Sometimes we go through trials, but we know that the Lord is by our side, comforting, comforting us and giving us blessing. What we need is to rest in the Lord. When we have the peace of the Lord, we have all we need to conquer any need, any situation. Because we don't trust ourselves, but we trust the Lord. The second come of Jesus is close at hand. And all he wants is us to, to sing songs, to praise his name. The secret for a servant to be victorious is to be going up to, to the hill and praise his name. This is the secret. Prayer and praises and gratitude. Nothing will stand in front of a servant that is grateful and has an intimate relationship with God. The Lord will open a way even though there is no way. He will allow us to experience things that we don't deserve and we don't sometimes even imagine. We have people that watch this service around the earth and we understand many times we find ourselves lonely but pray to the Lord listen to a song call someone ask a prayer even though over the phone I have many people that had experiences like that uh, pastors that I know they leave their phone numbers saying call me if you need a prayer so this is the joy of the Lord the supper with the Lord is that it's a representation of the fellowship it's symbolic Jesus sharing the bread breaking the bread sh talking about his body and the wine talks about the blood of Jesus his spirit so when we understand that the Lord brings us joy and we have faith to wait for for the second come of Jesus let's sing a song that talks about the second come of Jesus 609 
Jesus return The desire of my heart is to see Jesus return Come, 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 come 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 Someone will glorify the Lord for the, 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 the second come of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the return of Jesus is about to happen. There is nothing in, the, in this world that can attract us. We bless you for soon we'll be eternally with our God. We would like to say that your grace is sufficient. Thank you for the victories. We know the God we serve. Thank you for the work of your Holy Spirit in this place. For the operations of your Holy Spirit. It is good to be in your temple. To offer you our praises. To listen to your voice. Talking to our hearts. Blessed be your name for your living presence of your Holy Spirit and the angels. We thank you for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. I invite the church to stand. Let's close the service. Brethren, during the trials, we think we're going to surrender. We think we're going to be defeated. But that is the moment, the most appropriate moment for God to act. For the world, Jesus was defeated at the cross. But for the faithful church, we know that that was the beginning of the gospel. Sometimes the servants of the Lord go through difficult moments and think it's the end and before our eyes we looks like we are being defeated but the Lord at this moment when we we are humble and we recognize that God is the only Savior He come and rescue us and He exalt us not for our glory but for His glory to be shown in the church, in the body of Christ, this living body, they're going to inherit things to salvation. We're going to have the supper with the Lord. In the Bible, the supper was the last one that he had. But the next one, he mentioned that will be in the eternity. That day is close at hand. And this is the joy of the church. Blessed be the name. Lord, we exalt you. And we bless you. For we have the faith that you gave in us. You've given us. And... Not because we want any, any glory, because all glory to you. But the faith that we have came from eternity. And this faith will take us to the eternity. When we're going to have our bodies transformed and we live for you eternally. Search us, O oh Lord, in our needs. And help us to speak freely about the salvation to the ones in this world. We thank you for this service in Jesus' name. Amen. The church may be seated. We, we dismiss everyone with the peace of the Lord. We remind everyone about the early dawn, 6 a.m. on Saturday, and to, uh, Saturday night, 7.30, the service, 10.30 a.m., the Bible study on a Sunday, and 7.30 on Sunday, the service. If anybody needs a prayer or assistance, we'll be here to help you.